This video is a lightning talk about how to give a lightning talk. First I would like to respectfully acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation who are the traditional owners of the land on which Swinburne's Australian campuses are located in Melbourne's East and Outer East and on whose land I am recording this presentation today and I'd like to pay my respect to their elders past, present and emerging. We are honoured to recognise our connection to Wurundjeri country, history, culture and spirituality through these locations and strive to ensure that we operate in a manner that respects and honours the elders and ancestors of these lands. We also respectfully acknowledge Swinburne's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff, students, alumni, partners and visitors. We'd also like to acknowledge and respect the traditional owners of lands across Australia, their elders, ancestors, cultures and heritage and recognise the continuing sovereignties of all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander nations. The most important thing about a lightning talk is that it takes no more than five minutes. That doesn't give you much time, so you need to be really strategic in your planning and presentation. Get to the point quickly. It's really important. You don't build it up gradually. You need to hook the audience and keep them engaged right from the start. Stick to the big picture. Given the short amount of time, there is no time for getting into the details. There should be minimal contact on each slide and a minimal number of slides. There are a number of ways you can do this. There is the Takahashi method. This has a couple of words per slide only, just words, no pictures. They act as a prompt for the presenter. Then you have the Lissig method. This method has an image or word per slide. However, it involves clicking through many slides quickly. This method is risky. While it can be entertaining and engaging, it has the potential to confuse the audience and overwhelm them if it's not done well. And that leads me to the next point. Don't overload the slides, the message or the audience. Less is more in a lightning talk. What you need to do is pick out the main points that need to be made. And remember, only the main points. Do not include any detail at this stage. Then create a path between these points that constructs the most logical narrative. The narrative is really important. Humans are storytelling animals and we pay attention more to a story than a collection of disparate data. And lastly, make sure you practice. Use a timer or a stopwatch. Make sure you pace yourself. Don't rush just because you have limited time. If you keep to the main points, you will be able to cover them all comfortably in five minutes. So that is my lightning talk about giving a lightning talk all in under five minutes. Make sure you plan. The planning is what will take the most time in your lightning talk. Make sure you plan out the main points. Don't include any unnecessary detail and practice, practice, practice.